Hi everyone, I am Dr. Bhavin Pabari and today I will give you information about vitamin D. As you are watching the screen, kindly click the subscribe button to watch my every new update. Vitamin D and calcium have relation that I am explaining in this video. How do you feel if I tell you that if you eat the food containing calcium but you are not getting it? It is possible in deficiency of vitamin D. The absorption of calcium from intestine is only possible in presence of vitamin D. So in deficiency of vitamin D there is deficiency of calcium and in deficiency of calcium there are so many diseases related to the bone like rickets, osteomalacia, osteoporosis because calcium gives strength to the bone. Now I tell you about the sources of vitamin D. We get it from milk, butter, egg yolk, oily fish but amount is very less. The main source of vitamin D is sunlight. So you have to take 15 minutes to 30 minutes sunbath every day. The natural form of vitamin D is formed in the skin from the action of ultraviolet rays which is converted in the liver into 25 hydroxy vitamin D which is further converted in the kidney into 125 dihydroxy vitamin D which is the active form of vitamin D. The deficiency of vitamin D occurs to the people who are not getting enough sunlight. The risk of deficiency of vitamin D increases to the people who are doing indoor work all day for example businessmen, housewife, for religious purpose, those who covered their whole body also have chances of deficiency of vitamin D. Applying of sunscreen not allowed to form vitamin D. In the northern states like North Canada, North USA where naturally they are not getting enough sunlight during October to early March, they also have chances of vitamin D deficiency. But fortunately, Vitamin D is not water soluble vitamin, it is fat soluble vitamin, it is stored in our body. So deficiency don't occur overnight. If you are not getting it, it takes months for deficiency of vitamin D in our body. And nowadays fortified vitamin D dairy products also available in the market. So you have to keep your eye open for that. Lastly, we talk about deficiency of vitamin D. In deficiency of vitamin D, there is obviously deficiency of calcium and in deficiency of calcium, there are so many diseases related to the bone like rickets, osteomalacia, osteoporosis. First we talk about rickets. It occurs in childhood. Development of child is very poor. As shown in the image, legs are bent out. Second one, osteomalacia. It occurs in adults. Patients suffering from this have intense bone pain, intense muscle pain, fragility fracture which means fracture occurs easily due to deficiency of calcium, fracture of wrist, fracture of spine, fracture of hip. Third one, osteoporosis. Due to deficiency of calcium, bone becomes brittle which break by even sneezing giving pressure to it. This way, vitamin D is important vitamin. You have to take 15 to 30 minutes sunbath every day. Vitamin D keeps you away from so many diseases and improves your immunity. Kindly like it, share it, comment me for any kind of query. My email address is also mentioned here. You can mail me and I will try my best to reply you for any kind of health related query. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.